Snow is falling all around us. We should probably get inside. Hypothermia is a real thing, people. Hello there, gang. Welcome back to another day of the Advent Series with me, Dr. Benji FM, and another player to go into what I've decided, really. This, I've said this is my top 25 players like, ever. It's my Hall of Fame, isn't it? I'm realising now, this is the Hall... I, I should maybe have called it the Hall of Fame, viewers, but this is very much the Hall of Fame. Um, what we're going to do today is, as I describe the player that I'm about to talk about, um, who hasn't got a highlights package, it's worth saying, but it's from FM15 with Swindon, um, think about... If you've got a player throughout history in your football manager saves um, that was like this, and share your story in the comment section. And now let's explain as we go to Swindon and we talk about Adrian or Adrian. Either way, Spanish. So I think Adrian sounds a little better than Adrian. Um, so let's say Adrian, for the purposes of this, was a midfield beast, like an absolute tank, the, the most reliable player I've ever had in the history of the saves that I've played on YouTube. I think there's, I don't think there's anyone that will beat him in terms of reliability for five seasons. We bought him for just over 17 million from Villarreal and immediately slide in like how rare is that i think especially for a manager it often takes players time to time, time to adapt especially a central midfielder that has to find his feet around new players coming all the time it was a point for the swindon team that we had um that was an incredible team i was looking through it before uh there'll be one or two more that i think feature from the swindon team on this list um but it was the best team I had ever had. It wasn't like my favourite players within the team, but in terms of how good they were, they would beat any other save, like or any other save team that I've had. Even Salford, who were very, very good towards the end, had some incredible players. But I still think that Swindon, um, a series that I say was, was three or four years ago, so you may well have missed it. Um, I, I dare say go back and watch the final season because that team was on another level. Some of the players on that side, oh, dearie me. Um, there's only 50 episodes on that series too, so feel free to go back and check it out. But Adrian, let's talk about him. He was a, a penalty maestro. He had some fantastic attributes in every area. Physically was superb, mentally superb, technically incredible, impeccable, I dare say. And, and he never missed a penalty for me. One season he took 11 of them, didn't miss a single one. Um, I think he took three either side of other some years as well but yeah uh, when you've got a penalty taker that never misses that is quite a comforting feeling um knowing that when he steps up he's going to score every single time and as i say one season got himself 17 goals uh from a central midfield position in which we had a cam in behind a striker and two wide players it's not like it was a position that would score goals freely but still got six from open play as well as his 11 but we got 11 penalties that's an awful lot isn't it we were winning a lot of penalties it turns out uh, in one particular season but yeah so 17 goals for a central midfielder is always impressive the thing Thing that stands out most for me though and, and it's something that i think you can probably appreciate is he was my high in the team that i've described as the best ever uh, in my all-time 11 he has the highest average rating um there's a, there's a chap who was a striker from poland who i say we'll, we'll, we'll talk about in the future of this list um but he had a higher average rating than him and that to me sums up uh, you'll see i say in the future you'll see how highly i talk about that player but let's just remember Adrian was one of the players. He wasn't one of my favourite players in terms of there's not a massive story behind him, but I can't not have him on this list somewhere. Um, and I think this is probably the place he slots in. If, if there's Adrian fans out there, you'll be disappointed with this, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, again, if, if there's a player like that you had like that, Mr. Consistent, always showed up, big occasions, faultless, won everything, let me know in the comment section. Uh, right then, with love with care, that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. As we another man that goes on our list. Of course, if you missed it yesterday, we've started Central Park Rangers. That's the first time I've said it um, outside of... First of all, I've said it. <laughs> right. I, feel, I feel like, am I allowed to announce it yet? Um, Central Park Rangers, do check it out. Link in the description to that one. Of course, you can go on my channel as well and check it there. Um, the journey starts. I'll see you at 5pm for that. And I'll see you again tomorrow at 8pm, 8pm, 8am 8 8 for this. Uh, these come out at 8 in the morning, 10 on the weekends. Got you? Good.